sometimes it might be uh, too big of a leap to just go from the 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 habitual conditioned place to openness. Sometimes you can do that, and that's also what this session will support today for that process to become more accessible, more readily available. The example I was going to just use was if one has always been afraid of dogs because of having been bitten by a dog, and then every time you see a dog, there's a concern of being bitten. And so maybe the in-between phase is then just having an inner dialogue with the awareness, maybe this dog doesn't bite. You know, maybe it's different. Maybe it's different this time. You know, and then asking the owner, <laughs> you know, these, these stages. And then, and then some point in the future, then the dog is just seen as this gorgeous creature. And like any creature can bite or not bite, right? One doesn't start relating to it as it biting. You know, you don't necessarily look at all cats as biting or human beings as biting. <laughs> so we start to see the what's in front of us in the fullness for what it is and so you don't forget that it can bite but it's not what comes forward what one is present with is the 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 fullness of it birds can bite caterpillars can bite <laughs> right so we, we don't it's not what's registering right what's registering is the the fullness of of the beauty, the wholeness, the intrinsicnic, intrinsicness of the, of the creature, of the opportunity, of the moment. And so we start relating to life in this way where our conditioning is not popping up and telling us a story about it. And this is the place of learning that the conditioning is um, can reveal is part of is currently part of this learning process and this unfolding and that when the information is then fully digested and resolved and let go of fully surrendered fully assimilated it's then just information in the field and one, then one comes back into the, the wholeness of life 